It gets me ready for the real world. I mean, most of the United States is majority white. When you go to the business world or just the work world, it's majority white. So adjusting, coming to a school like this and having to adjust to a campus of majority white people will allow me to be ready for the real world and anything that is thrown at me. And I didn't even know the ratio of how many whites or how many blacks. I didn't even look at all that stuff. All I see is the diversity that's going to be here, the international students, the people that are here, people from out of state and all that stuff in state. So I just wanted to meet all these people, you know, share experience or hear about their side so I could hear, they could hear about my side so we could just exchange cultures and get to know each other real well. The reason why I came here is because I had a real good business school and I didn't look at color and things like that. I just wanted to go somewhere where I could get the best education that I could. And um, then I did actually start looking into um, the racial bra uh, backgrounds and the breakdowns. And, and I saw that it was a majority white school, but that, that never um, scared me. I, I felt it as a challenge and something that I was going to have to overcome in the real world. Just coming here and being able to uh, just meet new people and know, uh, learn new things about diff different cultures, I know that will help me later on in life. I don't think it's fair to myself to sit there and say, oh, I don't want to go to this school because it's predominantly white. That's not fair to me. I mean, I, I don't care what the other people think. I mean, it's not fair to me. I mean, I, if I want to go to this school, then forget everyone else. I should go to that school. No, I'm, I'm like serious though. You know? It's, like, it's not fair to me to sit there and say, oh, I can't uh, go to this class because it's predominantly white. I mean, the world is the world. Be real realistic. I can't sit there and try to shelter myself from the real realities of the situation. Preach all, girl. <laughs> <laughs> She's angry. If I want the white people to treat me with respect, then why, why should I keep myself away from them? You know, if I go to a school where it's just with my own population, they're not finding out anything about me. They're not knowing anything about me. So if I want to understand them, I want them to understand me so we can share our understanding, then I should go interact with them. There's no problem interacting with them. You know, there's no law that says you can't interact with them anymore. So what's the point of hiding yourself or keeping yourself away? So that's one reason also that made me want to come here. And I think that it's not a huge factor to Race is not a huge factor when choosing your school, but I think it's a reality when you get there. Mm -hmm. And so it's up to you to figure out how you're going to be immersed or adapt to these different races. Are you going to be ignorant and just try to find your own people and stick with them? Or are you going to branch out and meet new people and understand new cultures? I think that coming to a predominantly white school can help to break stereotypes that people have on African American people. A lot of people who came here weren't used to being around African American people and when they see the way that you act and like the reality of how like African American people are, you're breaking stereotypes and you're like helping to change the world like a little bit.